so excited to see you here in Miami. We have a lot to talk about, <laughs> lots of great news and songs coming out. So let's let's start off with that. Like, tell us what you're doing right now. Right now, I'm enjoying uh, Miami. I'm doing something that I don't normally do, which is relax. It's very strange for me to be relaxing because usually I'm working a lot. <laughs> Um, so I think that's probably what you meant is what am I doing working wise um, and I'll just get you the, the things I can remember because I'm working on so many things I can't remember I'm working on a new single with Nicole from the Pussycat Dolls Nicole Scherzinger also on Dancing with the Stars right now and I got two songs with her that I'm just finishing up so those those you'll probably be out in the next couple months what's the sneak of the style of, of the track oh just big vocal obviously it's obvious big vocal club music Hands in the air, big, big, big songs with Nicole singing her lungs out. So I'm very, very excited about it. I mean, probably the most exciting project I've ever worked on, really. I'm very, very excited about it. So. Amazing. And, you know, we were just, you know, talking about how, you know, your, your remixes, you've always had amazing number one hits on Billboard. And we are going for number 49 this week, right? And. This week's 49, and next week will be my 50th number one Billboard dance song. song. And for who is that? Next week will be uh, Yoko Ono. How has it been like working with her? You know, Yoko's a legend, uh, and it's the closest I will ever come to working with John Lennon, and it's an honor to, to be asked to be involved with Yoko's project. So every time she calls me to do a song, I will absolutely do it, drop everything else and do it. Not only that, you know, but you've been honored with a nomination for a Grammy this year. What was that experience? Again, I'm very lucky to do what I love to do for a living and pay my bills making music all day long. It's, it's pretty crazy. And, uh, you know, I was nominated for a Grammy this year. And uh, I'm just, I was actually pretty surprised uh, to be nominated. And the song I got nominated for was very surprising to me. Um, and I just, I really couldn't believe it. And I was just happy to be at the Grammy uh, celebration and the award show and be a part of that whole thing. And how do you feel right now? You know, we, we spoke a lot like last year about how dance music and you know, it's, it's becoming really strong with the, with the mainstream pop world and you know, that how that's breaking, you know, it's breaking borders, to, you know, especially in the US right now. How do you feel about that? It's, it's, it's unbelievable the things that David Guetta and Lady Gaga have done for dance music. Those two artists right there have really just helped make bring dance music to the mainstream. People people that really weren't uh, listening to to dance radio are now listening to dance radio because of artists like Kesha or Lady Gaga or Akon or David Guetta. All these artists that have these dance songs that people people really don't consider them dance songs. They're just fun songs to dance to. So it's really helping bring both the dance world and the mainstream world together. I think Thank this God. is something that's going to really, you know, stick. In, in it is sticking. Years. It is sticking. I don't. I don't think it's going to stick. I think it's. I think yeah. it's. It's sticking. I know for from my point of view, work is crazy for me. Uh, the phone's ringing off the hook. So I think dance music is going to get bigger and bigger. Is there a little, um, you know, desire inside of Dave's Dave the Dave heart? You know, of something that you haven't been able to do yet. You know, you've been, you know, creating so many tracks, so much work with, you know, major artists dance artist, what's what's something that's inside of, you know, a little secret desire that you really haven't, maybe something you haven't done yet that you'd like to do, achieve? Well, uh, you know, I'd like to do a song with Steve Perry from Journey. So I'm trying to track Steve down and try to get him out of retirement. So Steve, <laughs> if you're watching this, give me a call. <laughs> Lots of shouts out. We want you to give a shout out to Mexico, to Latin America, to everybody who's watching you and listens to you. Hola, Latin America. Me llamo David. That's, that's about it. That's all my Spanish. Mr. Audacious. <laughs> Checking out here from Miami. We'll see you soon with more. Thank you. Stay tuned. Thank you. Hi, this is Grammy-nominated producer Dave Day. You're watching Empo TV.